Abigail, since the day I met you, I knew you was the one I prayed every night for. I thank God every day for blessing me with such a passionate, hardworking, God-seeking girl. You have shown me how great our God is, and I'm so honored to become your husband today. People often say that love is hard, but I honestly can't relate, because loving you has been the easiest and the best thing I've ever done. I can't believe that this day is finally here, the day we talked about at 14 years old, and even if that might sound crazy, we just knew at such a young age. You started calling me Abigail Faith Gallimore then, because you knew that one day I would have your last name, and now I do. As we start our lives together as one, I promise to always put our Lord and Savior first. I promise to take on every obstacle that life throws at us with you. I promise to always be there for you to lean on for the good and bad. I promise to be the best version of myself every day. I promise to love you unconditionally and make sure you are always taken care of and are always my first priority. No matter how many times you leave, clothes laying around the house. I love you, Abby, your faith, and can't wait to see what God has planned for us. I have not only watched you grow in age, but as a man. Growing up with you has been the best ride of my life. I watched you grow into the best dog dad, Dakota, and more importantly, a man of God. What I love most about you is your love for Jesus and how eager you are to learn more about him. I love the way that you never hesitate to show your love for me. You always make sure you know how loved I am. Ethan, I promise to always love you unconditionally. I promise to always put God in the center of our marriage and always fix our eyes on him. I promise to be the best wife and mother one day. And I promise to always sit through your favorite movies with Adam Sandler or The Rock in them. Even though I'd rather be watching a chick flick, you're truly the best thing that's ever happened to me, Ethan. And it'll always be you. Ethan, I love you. I do, by virtue of authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and a, in accordance to the laws of God and the, the state of Virginia, I pronounce you husband and wife. Ethan, you may kiss your bride!
apologizing Your friends hypnotizing Rocking on the block with the hot sun shining Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this?